What's going on guys? Gia Snow right here. So in today's video we're going to talk about the iOS 11. Finally the Apple keynote at WWDC has finished and we're now able to tell what is going to be iOS 11. Now I'm going to start with the fact that uh, the uh, WWDC recordings are available on YouTube so you can go ahead and search them right now and watch the entire thing. But I'm going to only talk about the iOS 11 in this video and I'm going to only briefly touch on it because I'm going to make a full review once the, um, the first beta drops. Now it's prone to drop in a couple of hours but for the moment it's not available as I'm making this video. Now what you're going to, to see new in the iOS 11? Well. A major redesign to the control center. Uh, aside of any uh, rumors, there's not going to be any kind of icon modifications. The icons remain the same as in the iOS 10, but the control center is going to be changed. And right now on your screen, you're going to have a photo from the Keynote where you can see how it's going to look like. Now, there are a lot of major changes for the iPad and it's now including a dock when you're switching to the other applications. But but also for the iPhone, the camera, the photos application, the memories part of the photos application, as well as Siri, all of them have a lot of updates in store. Now Siri has become much more intelligent and is now providing more to the Siri kit for developers. It has a better improved voice and now it also uh, it, it's also going to get an improved interface, as you can see from the photo on your screen right now. Now, there are other applications that are, are going to take uh, advantage of a new user interface or a redesigned one, but Apple might also hint at a dark mode. As you can see right now on the screen, on all, all these labels in here, you can see that they have uh, they have plans for an enhanced inverted colors mode. Now. A couple days ago somebody discovered that Apple Store application where you can buy various products from Apple for iOS does respond in a different way to the uh, to the inverted colors instead of inverting the images it turns into dark mode and also switches to normal images which means that it has an adaptive mode for dark mode if this is what is going to come on iOS 11 then that is definitely dark mode so I'm looking forward for that the Apple Pay is also going to take a couple of uh, revamps you're going to be able to send money using Apple Pay directly through the messages application and the messages application are also now going to get some improvements your messages are going to be uh, synchronized from your iCloud account and you will be able to sign in into your iCloud account on any device that supports the iMessages and you're going to have all your conversations right there synchronized. If you remove a message from one device, it's going to get removed from the other as well, which is definitely dope. They have also redesigned the app drawer inside the uh, iMessages, but we're going to take a look on that when the beta is actually released, so that we're going to save that for later. Now, the camera has also got some improvement, and we all know what that means. And as I say, the Photos application now provides better uh, memories system. You, you probably know it has a memory system, a memory module that creates memories or uh, switches photos together uh, and uh, makes a kind of album out of your uh, your memories, your photos. And now that thing has gone better with much more um, uh, machine learning behind it. So it's definitely going to be good. Now, I do not know if you like the uh, the new control center that Apple is, uh, is planning for the iOS 11, but it also has 3D touch response, which means that you can 3D touch on any of the platters inside it, and it's going to switch to a bigger thing, especially for that module, which is definitely dope. Now uh, this is something that I have expected but there is also something for the notifications. Now when you're when you're uh, when you're uh, sliding down in order to get your notifications you're going to see something like the lock screen and the most recent notifications but if you scroll up you're going to get all your notifications from from the uh, previous times 
during the day, which is definitely going to be dope, as you can see from here. Now, uh, there are pretty much a lot of things, a lot of new kits. There is also a new music application. Well, the music application didn't get uh, a lot of changes, but now you can also see what your friends recommend or what your friends are listening to inside your music application. And uh, there is also a music kit API that is going to be available for developers, which is going to be dope. Now, uh, this is pretty much the uh, important part of the iOS. Also, they discussed about the uh, watchOS 4, which is definitely going to be dope. They also discussed about the uh, the new uh, uh, the new iMac Pro, which is which is a monster. is going to have a lot of horsepower behind it. I mean, if you're a graphical designer or a video produ producer or a, even a gamer, you're probably going to love the new iMac Pro. So definitely a lot of things at WWDC 17. If you want to watch the entire keynote, go ahead. I'm going to put a link in the description from somebody's channel where uh, he has a uh, a full recording of the entire. Keynote keynote. So this is actually it guys, do not forget I'm going to come back uh, tomorrow with a full review of the beta 1 of iOS 11. This is why uh, I went through all of these using images from the actual keynote because it's not released for the moment, it's going to be released in a couple hours. But till the next time, I really hope this video helped out. I'm Geosnow, peace out.